we see a lot of this, um, and poor old HMRC do get hit a lot, unfortunately, because. Well, yeah. I've never heard that. Well, <laughs> we, we do, because a lot of our customers, you know, we see from the other side, there's a lot of people have hit them. And the reason why they've hit them is because it doesn't stop them from trading. It doesn't stop them from buying that next part and fitting it to something. So inevitably, these are the ones that um, they don't pay because they've got the 50 quid to buy the next part to go and then fit it to whatever it is they're doing. So it doesn't stop them trading until some point comes when it amasses to a point where it obviously does. Um, so be mindful of it and confirm itself that we're going digital now with, yeah. with, with how we operate, which is a great thing actually. You know, you've got QuickBooks, you've got um, Xero, you've got like, Sage is quite, uh, but you've got the softwares now that um, you have to be a part of that because that's what bring it out. So they are tightening in on this thing. And, and the reality is, you know, I do feel sorry because it is, they do get hit quite a lot, but they are, um, on one side I suppose, we don't, we just have to battle with them as well because they don't give us, when we're, we're trying to get an arrangement with them to try and keep, recover this business, to try and keep it alive, we, we cost them the spirit because they're just, you know, they're not helping us, but the reality is, keep in mind, keep keep on top of your liability to HMRC. So you yeah. said that you have to have the electronic systems in place now, that that's a requirement. When's it coming next year? It's next year, next 2019, year. 2019 oh. yeah. Is so it just for limited any business? I don't know, I'm not actually an accountant by the way. Uh, oh, sorry. Just to clear that up. Uh, <laughs> you can press it Oh right, so you can't be an accountant. I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm admin. Uh, oh, right. so, <laughs> but um, yeah, I believe it's next year, and I don't know about the limited, but um, I'm more than happy to find out for you. We do, not to do a sales thing, but we do do seminars on making tax digital. So you're more than welcome to come to one of those. Thank you. But, but also, I just want to add that, I mean, it's one thing in common with everybody in HMRC is everyone gets credit and it gets abused. And I speak with people, and I, uh, when they come on the phone, I very quickly need to get an understanding of their business. And we've got to do that in 15 minutes. So we have to go straight and ask questions. We get a bit of resistance sometimes. I want to speak about something personal, and I need to know these figures. So I need to know, what are your creditors? Who are your creditors? And they'll list them. And then we'll get to the end of the conversation. You go, right, so we've got, we've got about 30 grand there. Yeah. Right. Any more? No. At the end. Right. So, so what's the problem here? You know, to, well, I've got HMRC knocking at my door. They want 80 grand. Right, so I asked about creditors a few minutes ago. Oh, yeah, people don't see them as a creditor. They see their, you know, the, the timber merchant or their paper supplier or whoever as a creditor, but they don't see HMRC as, and it's, it's dangerous because they will come in and they will shut your company. No doubt, we see that every week. It comes with the wind off force really work. So it's really worth noting. Don't ignore